Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax and in the previous videos we started with new features of Open SQL as a part of SAP ABAP new syntax and in the previous video we covered that in the query itself we can use the conditional statements like case. After that, we took the requirement and firstly, I showed you by the old way, if we have that kind of requirement, how we are achieving that requirement. So firstly, we fetch the sales document category, then based upon sales document category, we put the description and then we displayed. So firstly, what I will do, I will explain this in the debugging mode because it might be the case that so many people are directly learning the new syntaxes. So I should cover this way also. Then what I will do, rather than writing this much logic, we will simply achieve this particular requirement by the one query itself, by the new features of Open SQL itself. So firstly, I will show you the output in the debugging. I will put a breakpoint. I will run this program. Suppose I am giving the input, suppose 70 to suppose 75. So that we can understand that we have sales document category C or other than C. I will go to desktop 3, most preferable desktop. So this input 70 to 75 will go to VBELN column of VBAK table. It will fetch the data of these five columns and data will come into this internal table. I am doing F6. Now you can see in this internal table, we have the six records. For first five records, it should display internal order. For the sixth record, it should display external order because the sales document category is other than C. Now, this loop will continue six times and one by one, we are passing that data to this new internal table. So firstly, it will go for first record. Now, it will check for the first record, the sales document category is C or other than C. For the first record, the sales document category is C. So now it will simply, simply go for description what internal order. Now it will append the first record to internal table. And you can see in the new internal table, we have the first record. So this loop will continue six times. Now we have the second record. And you can see side tabix is changing which is going for the, which is always taking the index of the current record. Now we have the second record. For the second records also, the sales document category is C. Now you can see we have two records into this new internal table. So this loop will continue six times and we have six records into this internal table. So I'll put a breakpoint here so that this loop will finish. I'm doing F8. Now control is on this particular line. Now you can see in this new internal table, we have these six records. Where the sales document category is C, we got the internal order. If the sales document category is other than C, we got the external order. Now this loop will continue six times and we are displaying these six records. Now this is very tedious task for this particular time kind of requirement. We have written this much logic. Now it is very, very easy to achieve this kind of requirement where now we have the new features of Open SQL. In the new feature itself, we have a option to use the case conditional statement in the query itself. Now just see how we will write the query. I will comment everything because we will go for inline data declaration. So this is not required. 
Yes, we need select option. We will write the query by open. We will write the query by new syntax. So I'm commenting this. There's no need for this. No need for this. Nothing. We'll write. Now just see how easy it is to write. I will write select. Now in the new features of OpenSQL, we need to use comma between the columns. So I will write PBEL, comma, ER dash, comma, ERZDT, ER not, VB type, comma. Now here I'm writing comma also. Suppose firstly, I'm not writing because with the last column, you are not writing. Now we need to go for if sales document category is C, we need to go for internal order. If it is other than C, we need to go for external order. So how I will write? I will simply write case. Now here I will put comma now because we need to go for case now. Now case. But do you want to check? BB type. Now case BB type. Now we will check the value of sales document category. Now I will simply write when. When sales document category is C. What do you want to display? Internal order. Now if sales document category is other than C. But okay, here then then internal order. If sales document category is other than C, what do you want to display external order? So I will simply write else. Else, what do you want to display external order? If you have other conditions, you can write other conditions also. When, then, when, then. And for others part, you need, see, need to simply, simply write else. Now the question is in everyone's mind. We do not want to display VB type. We want to display the description column. Internal order, external order. How we will specify here? Simply, I will write end. It means this case statement we are ending. End. As. Now what is the name of the column? Suppose my name of the column is description. You all know as we are always using to create a alias, alias. So we are simply saying that we have a description column. We have this particular column description, which will go for internal order and external order values as is always, always used to create a alias, alias. Now end means we are ending this particular case state. Now we will go for our query. You are going for which particular table? We are fetching from which table? PBAK. Now we will simply, simply store into internal table, into table. You all know all host variables must be prefixed with at the rate. Now we want to go for inline data declaration. So I will write data also. So what is the internal table? LT underscore data. Now we will go for where condition where VBELN in. What is the select option name? S underscore VBELN. And yes, all host variables must be prefixed with add. Just see in this query itself, we did everything. There is no need for this logic at all. Now your data is in this internal table. You can simply, simply display. Loop at LT underscore data into work area. Every loop there is a end. And we will simply, simply write the right statement. Now I will simply go for I will uncomment. I will check the syntax and add.
Okay. We need to declare this at the rate data. Sorry. I by mistake I also put at the rate. At the rate is only in the query for the host variables. I'll check the syntax. This is LW, LW data. We are not going for new work area, nothing. Syntactically correct. And just see, you achieve this requirement, but by this much logic. Previously, you have done so many things. You declared so many things. Now, I will check the syntax and I will activate. Now, again, I will put a breakpoint and show you, are we getting same to same output or not? I will run. I will go for 70 to 75. I will go for execute. I will go for desktop 3, most preferable desktop. I will just wait. It is taking time. So I will go to desktop 3. Now this internal table, zero records. This is our input. I am doing access. This query executed. You can see we have six records in the internal table. For this sales document category B, external order. For rest, we have internal. We are not displaying this column. We, internal table has six columns. We are not displaying this column. So anyways, we'll get the output of these five columns only. We are not displaying the column. We are displaying the description. And you can see we got same to same kind of output. So what is the summary of this particular video? Extremely important because it is making our task very, very easy nowadays. Yes. Now, in this video, firstly, I explained everything in the debugging mode, which we have written through old syntax. Now, after that, I commented and I have written the query, open, I have written the open SQL query by using the new features. I put a case statement. We are going for case on what? Sales document category. We have put. When it is C, we'll go for external order. If you have other conditions, you can put other conditions also. Others part, you need to handle through else condition. Else external order. And means we are ending this case statement. As means alias, what is your dis what is the name of your column on which column under which column you want to display these values? So I put as description. The name of the column will be description. After that, all host variables must be prefixed with re at the rate. We put data because we want to go for inline data declaration, and I displayed. I put data with work area also because we are going for inline data declaration. Then I showed you in the debugging mode, we got the six column. We got the six column. These five column from the database table. This column is not from the database table. This description column is not from the database table. This description column data is coming based upon this case condition, case condition, and just see how useful it is. In the next video, we will explore more, more features of the, of more new features of this open SQL as a part of SAP app new syntax. So that's it in this video. Thank you.